Hello, welcome to another EM Creations tool. In this tool, I'm going to show you how to implement a uh, binary search in PHP. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start NetBeans, and then we're going to start Zamp Apache. Um, a binary search is a different way of searching from a linear search, which I showed in the last tutorial. Uh, a binary search will only work for an ordered list or an ordered array. It will not work for an unordered array. Uh, unlike, a, unlike a linear search, which will. Once we open up NetBeans, I've already got my first project open, which I use to show my tutorials. Um, here I've got searches.php. In here I've got what I was working on last time, which is linear search. Uh, we're going to be not using this code, we're going to be using different code, but I'm going to keep this open just so you can see differences. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function which is going to create an array. Uh, this array is going to be an ordered array. Uh, this, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to make a blank array, and then I'm going to make a for loop. So for i equals zero, i while well, uh, 99 is greater or equal to i, i plus um, plus. So each array element is uh, going to be value of i times 10. So position zero will be zero. Position one will be 10 because it's one times 10. Uh, position 2 will be 20, etc, etc, all the way up to 99, so the last last value will be 990, and then we're going to return the array, and then we're going to call this up here, we're going to go binary, uh, binary array equals generate ordered array, now we have an array which we can work with, which we can look through to find a value, I'm going to comment out that code, and we're going to put in new code, which is binary search, then I'm going to put in the parameter of binary array and a value I'm going to search for. We're going to put in 640. Um, we haven't written the binary search function yet, about to do that, but we're going to be searching for value 640 which should be at position 64 in the ordered array. Uh, so we're going to create function binary search. It's going to take two parameters and have an array parameter which is the array we're looking through and the value we're looking for in the array. So we're going to call that search for. Uh, we're going to start with three variables. Uh, these variables are low, high, and mid. Low is going to be zero. High is going to be uh, the count of the array. So how many items are in the array minus one, so we don't go outside of the array. Um, and mid is going to be zero as well. Uh, so once we've got these variables, what, uh, the way a binary search works is it will divide by two. Uh, so it divides by half every iteration of the loop that it uses. So you're only searching through half of the array, the amount in the array you were searching through last iteration, which makes it much quicker and much more efficient for searching for an ordered list. So we're going to start with a while loop here. So while um, high is greater or equal to low, just put in a common. Mid is going to equal, we're going to floor the result of low plus high divided by 2. Flooring a result means rounding it down. I need to make sure this is an integer to work with. Um, and then the element that we're looking at, this iteration, is going to be the value of the index uh, of the array at mid. Mid is the position we're using. And then if uh, what we're searching for equals what the element we're currently looking at, then we found what we're looking for and we're going to return the position that we found at, we're going to return the index, which is mid. Okay, and then else if
if the element that we're currently looking at, the value we're currently looking at, is greater, higher number than what we're searching for, then we know that the highest point, uh, the highest bound, the high boundary, must be below, as in one below at least what we're currently looking at. Um, otherwise, then we know it's greater. That then we know the element we're looking for is greater than what we're currently at. Then the lowest point must be above what we're currently looking at, because it's an ordered list. It would not work if this was not an ordered array. So that is the foundation of binary search. One last thing we need to do is we need to, uh, outside of the loop at the bottom of the function, we need to return minus one. Uh, this is done so that if we get through that loop and nothing has been returned, we haven't found a match, then we need some way of telling the user of the function that what we're looking for was not found. So we return minus one. That code will only get run if we haven't found what we're looking for. Okay, so we've now created our binary search function, so we can now test it out. We should be looking, 64 should be the result returned, so I'm just now going to navigate to where I have this installed on my local host. Yeah, and we have 64 returns, so we know it's worked. Uh, but uh, we can see, we can make sure where we can print R, the, the array that is output, to make sure that it's returned the right value at the right position. At 640 is at position 64. So we know it's worked because it's returned 64. Uh, we can now test it out with some different values. So if I put in here a value of 1 million, that is not in the array, so it should return minus 1, which it does, so that works. Uh, try with some different values now. 9, 90 returns position 9, which is correct. Minus 1, well, yeah, minus 1. Should return minus one because it's not in the array. And there you have it. That is how you implement a binary search uh, for integers, at least in PHP. It's much more efficient method than linear search when searching for an ordered array. Uh, when you have it in an ordered sequence, low to high, you could reverse it by changing some of the if statements to make it go run high to low. It's just a direction of where the point there where the virtual fictional pointers look at in the array. 